Hey, welcome back to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, I want to create a simplified process for indicating whether or not an invoice has been paid. Um, and so, uh, past couple of videos I've been talking about form control, so we're going to continue with that theme. Now, of course, you could simply, uh, you know, type the word yes or no or leave it blank. Um, I've seen people type in X when really what they're trying to do is sort of indicate what would normally be a, a, a checkbox. So that's what we're going to talk about. How do we use a checkbox and make it work with our data? So uh, you need your developer tab turned on. So if that's not on, right click your ribbon, go to customize the ribbon and enable your developer tab. We go to the developer tab and we're going to go to the insert icon with the toolbox. And again, you have two sections of controls that you can use on your form. And in this series of demos, I'm not doing any VBA programming, so we're just going to kind of do the form controls, which don't require any programming to work. Uh, note that the ActiveX controls have some uh, duplication of the controls under form controls, but the ones in this section, ActiveX controls, are far more advanced, and you can program them to do things that go beyond what the lesser versions can do. But for this scenario, the standard form control checkbox will be just fine and again require no programming. So we'll click on the checkbox form control and I'll simply draw it out within the confines of cell D2. Now I'm going to need to do a little bit of sizing to get it adjusted and uh, I want to get rid of the default label that gets put in there which probably just says checkbox uh, with some serial number based on the number of objects that have been placed on the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to kind of get it where I want it, size it up a little bit and uh, I'm going to set some properties of the checkbox. So we'll right click it and go to format control. And so you can specify um, whether or not the checkbox appears as unchecked or checked or mixed. And mixed is where it sort of shows a shaded, uh, I'll show you what that looks like. We'll put it on mixed. And then uh, I'll set the cell link to cell E2. So whatever, uh, if it's checked, the value of true goes to E2. If it's not checked, the value is false. Let's go ahead and click OK and see what the first one looks like. So this is what's meant by the mixed checks checkbox. So it's neither checked nor unchecked, but then once I click it, I've actually fully unchecked it. Then if I check it again, it's now checked. So we saw that it was in A when it was mixed. Uh, false when it's unchecked and true when it's checked. I just wanted to kind of point that out. I'm going to go back to format control and set it back to unchecked as the default value. Uh, and so I'll click OK. And so now we just have unchecked for false and checked for true. Now because I was able to put the checkbox in the confines of the cell D2, I can actually use the auto fill handle and drag it down and that will automatically fill that in uh, for the other cells. Now the only problem is the association of the checkbox with an adjacent cell when I go to format control still says E2. So I'm forced to kind of go into cell link and select E3 instead. Now I tried this earlier by saying well what if I hadn't had the row number locked? So if, if let me go back here and say okay format control but instead of E dollar three, just E three, so that the row number is relative. Um, when you fill it down, it's still. When I go to the next one, and go to format control, it's still E three. So it doesn't behave like a formula where that number three would have updated itself. So you're kind of stuck with the burden of having to go in and set the uh, cell yourself. So that's the one drawback. You've got to do that. Uh, and you heard me say earlier that if these were ActiveX controls, we could do some programming. And that would be one of the things that we could sort of do with a script to sort of uh, programmatically set each checkbox to go to whatever cell we want without having to manually go in and, and do this. So this is kind of the one uh, drawback that we've got. But if I only have a few cells that I'm going to do this for, it's not, not the biggest deal in the world. So we'll go ahead and continue this each one of these checkboxes will be associated with the cell that's adjacent in column E. So let's just take us another few seconds to finish setting up. Let's 
some kind of concert going on outside my office building. So if you hear some background noise, that's what that is. Um, pretty cool. All right, let me select this cell and click OK. Um, so in each case, if I check or uncheck, we see the value in the adjacent column changing. Now what I want to do is set up some conditional formatting so that if the invoice has not been paid, it'll have a red background and maybe a, a bold font. So I'm going to select from A2 over to E12 and on the Home tab we'll go to Conditional Formatting. Now to format all the way across, but based on the data in E, we'll need to choose New Rule and we'll choose use a formula to determine which cells to format. My formula will read as equals dollar sign E2 because I want to anchor the reference to column E for my formula but I do not want to anchor the reference to row 2 because I want that formula to adjust as it fills the formu uh, formula down all these rows. We're going to check to see if that value is equal to false. So if it's equal to false, then I want the cell to be red. Now I don't want to use this really dark red, so I'm going to go to more colors and sort of just pick a lighter red. I don't really want to go pink, but maybe if I go under custom, um, I can pick a red, but then I can just kind of lighten it up a little bit. We'll choose OK, and maybe I'll make the font uh, bold and italic, and uh, we'll choose OK, and I'll choose OK. So now the, the rows where that value is false have that appearance. And of course, I don't really need to see the words false and or true, so I'm going to hide column E. So the effect is we just have a checkbox. When it's checked, we're saying that it's paid, and it no longer has the red highlighting. So we've now created a cool interface for indicating with a simple checkbox. And of course, if you're on a touch screen, this is a lot easier to just touch that checkbox with your fingertip uh, rather than having to sort of tap in there with your finger and somehow type the word yes from an on-screen keyboard or something or hit it from a drop-down menu which you could do but for a touchscreen this would be probably a superior interface for just setting a, a true false or yes no type of value so I hope you find this useful uh, please like the video and subscribe and uh, come back and check out the channel soon for more Excel demos with Rich Kerr. I appreciate it. Have a productive day. Peace.